Hi guys, I'm Kim Goss at Chattahoochee High School in Johns Creek, Georgia. I'm here to give you some helpful tips that can improve your game in lacrosse. First off, to become a complete lacrosse player, you must focus on core, explosion technique, and agility. This includes offhand and dominant hand balance. Do you ever wonder how certain players just seem to find the net? And it's in the goal. Whether it's a face dodge, a roll dodge, or a behind the back play. Training to develop a strong core is vital to becoming the best lacrosse player you can be. Here are three key core exercises. The medicine ball throw, torso rotations, and the weighted plate raises. Like I said before, a strong core enables you to create space to shoot on the field, whether using roll dodges or face dodges. This medicine ball exercise will allow your body to make quick dodges side to side while keeping your body in balance. The torso rotation exercise will strengthen your core, allowing you to shoot with power while also controlling the placement of your shot. On defense, the weighted plate raises will help create agility and maintain your balance so you can keep your ground and protect your goal at all costs. Every athlete desires an explosive movement on the field. As a lacrosse player, being explosive allows you to get to ground balls faster and helps create open space in the field of play. Here are some key explosive exercises. Power cleans, jump box, dual leg, and jump box one-legged. When training your body to generate force in a direction at speed, power cleans are a great way to teach your body to generate enough force to move quickly. Purchase your tracks today. Jump box squats are a classic explosive movement that can help any athlete to teach their body to exert force at will. In this case, the one-legged squat keeps you balanced and helps prevent injury by keeping one side of your body from producing more power than the other side can handle. Add a plate of weight overhead to remove the upper body assistance and give your lower body the full responsibility of body movement. This is really difficult, but it translates nicely on the lacrosse field. Agility is essential to the game of lacrosse. It allows you to make quick moves around your opponent and helps you create opportunities to make better shots on goal. Here are three key agility exercises. Speed ladder, cone work, plyer metrics, and balance. When performing the speed ladder, the ladder keeps your feet and hip flexors in rhythm. Ladders also strengthen the balls of your feet that create speed and the placement of your footing. Cone work is another central exercise that helps train your body to get from point A to point B at top speed, but in this case, it is under control. Plyometrics can be broken down into high knees. High knees helps engage your hip flexor strength in response to situations on the field. Last but not least, there's balance. One of the most important components of being agile is the ability to finish on either side of your body. As a lacrosse player, you must work on balance between your offhand and your dominant hand. This will help create unlimited opportunities for shots on goal. Here is a key exercise that will help you become a balanced lacrosse player. Resistance and stick training. The exercise will help you develop muscle growth and muscle memory on your offhand. The key is to be able to be the best player you can be, so let's train to use both sides of our body. To perform these actions, you will always be inclined to use what's comfortable. Check out my little brother throwing a football. He's a pretty good athlete and has even played quarterback a time or two, but when he has to perform the same action using his offhand, it doesn't really go that well. Boy, if you don't get- This is why we use resistance and stick training to perfect our stick skills using our offhand and our dominant hand. 
Not only is lacrosse played year-round, but it's also played in climates that are not always conducive to training outside. If you're like me, who wants to get better but can't always make it to the gym, try these three key exercises that you can do at home. For the resistance band training, you're going to be working your hip flexor. Place the band around the outside of your ankle, making sure that both your feet are in. Lift your leg and hold. Tap the ground fast and repeat. For the slider workout, you're going to be doing double knee ups. Place sliders under your feet and enter into a push up position. Bring your knees to your chest as fast as you can while keeping your back straight and your butt low to the ground. Another slider workout is mountain climbers. Also done from a push-up position, bring one leg up at a time and alternate legs while keeping back and hips as level as possible. So as you can see, I have my lacrosse stick here and I also have this resistance band. And just like you saw in the other video, I have the resistance band attached to the head of my stick. And you can have, use a care bender and you can put it onto the strings of your head on the stick or you can attach it to the frame. It depends on your lacrosse stick. And so something that's different instead of attaching it to the fence, I have um, this type contraption here. It's a Velcro and I also have a marble inside so that when you place it into the door frame, it will not get caught. It will get caught and it won't hit you when you're doing your activity. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to place this into the frame of your door and you're going to close it, making sure the marble is on the outside. So that it can has a nice hole, so when you can pull on it, it won't come flying to your head. So then we're just going to be doing the same thing that I did outside, but inside it's in, instead it's in hole. 